Hello, and welcome once again to yet another part in the continuing series on the Stuff and Things channel, the Stuff and Things Guide to Pipe Smoking. In this part, we're going to tackle a subject that comes up a lot. It's a question that gets asked a lot in the comments to me, and it's something that people tend to feel very strongly about when they're discussing the pipe smoking hobby and the proper, proper way of doing things when you're smoking a pipe, and it involves what you should use to light your pipe. Now, I've sort of dealt with this in some of the previous videos when I was just talking about the mechanics of packing and lighting your pipe and everything, but there are certain arguments that people make, and some people feel very strongly that certain methods should not be used to smoke a pipe. There are many people who say that only one thing should ever be used to light a pipe, and that is wooden matches. There are other people who say wooden matches are nice, but butane lighters, soft, soft flame butane lighters are fine. Others will say, don't ever, ever use a Zippo that uses lighter fluid. That is horrible. Don't ever use that when you're lighting your pipe. Don't ever use a Bic. It's interesting. I think pipe smoking in general appeals to people who are kind of pedantic in nature, people who are kind of particular, who are perfectionists in a way. And so I understand the desire to sort of codify the proper way of doing things. But I think at least I have found throughout my pipe smoking career that even though there are certain things that you shouldn't shouldn't do probably or actually general generally good guidelines to follow, there are a lot of other things that are kind of just up to personal preference and don't make a lot of difference in the long run. So let's get into this. The argument that a lot of people use when they say that you should only smoke or you should only light your pipe with wooden matches is that it will not flavor the tobacco. They say that using a Zippo like this, this is a Zippo with a pipe lighter insert, but it still uses just Zippo lighter fluid, a, a petroleum distillate product. Um, they say that this will flavor the pipe tobacco. They say, some people say that you shouldn't even use a soft flame butane lighter like this, which I'm not sure why. Um, I don't discern any sort of it, uh, odor from this at all or anything. Some people say that certain kinds of flames are bad for the tobacco as well. For instance, the uh, sort of jet flame lighters, the blowtorch kind of lighters that a lot of people use to, to light cigars or, you know, cook heroin or smoke crack. Those kinds of lighters you might often be told to stay away from because if you have a very hot, very concentrated flame on the rim of your pipe, you could damage the rim. But then there are other people who use the Frank method of packing their pipe, who specifically use those in a very specific way, just a very quick uh, on and off to just flash light the top of the Frank method packed pipe bowl. So it can get very complicated. It can get kind of crazy. Let me impart to you the experiences that I have had and explain some of the reasoning behind why I do what I do. So I really enjoy using my Peterson Soft Flame Butane Lighter. This is a lighter made in the style of the Corona Old Boy and some original vintage Dunhill lighters. It has a nice soft butane flame. It's adjustable. The flame comes out the side. It works well for lighting a pipe. When I light this and I give it a whiff, I don't discern any particular odor whatsoever. I just blew it out. If I just let the butane run, I can smell a little bit of the butane, but it's nothing that strong. When I light this Zippo, I can, I'm, I'm gonna burn my nose or my nose hairs at some point, I just know. I can discern just a hint of the Zippo lighter fluid. It's more apparent if I don't light it, if I just open it, I can smell the lighter fluid in there but when it's burning, I mean, it's burning it off. I don't really notice it that much. When I use this just Bic lighter, I can't really detect any odor at all. Again, it's more apparent if I just turn on the gas. There's a, there maybe a slight hint. I'm getting a little <laughs> worried that I'm gonna burn my nostrils. Now, what about the matches? These are often considered the thing that you should use use to light your pipe. I smell a lot of sulfur. Very strong. And I still smell it. So what are we actually talking about here? People say that if you use a Zippo like this, 
with the Zippo lighter fluid or Ronsonol or whatever lighter fluid you have in there to light your pipe and you draw in the flavor of that fluid is going to contaminate, contaminate the flavor of your tobacco. I don't notice anything. Am I a Philistine? Am I stupid? I don't think so. I think I have a pretty refined palette for pipe tobacco. I've been smoking a pipe for quite a while. I've reviewed a lot of different blends. I can I can pick up flavor pretty easily in pipe tobacco. My, my tongue is trained in that regard. I don't notice anything. I would say the only danger you would have with using a Zippo lighter, and let me point out, if you are outside and there's a bit of a breeze going, good luck using matches to light your pipe. Good luck using a soft flame butane lighter to light your pipe. A Zippo is kind of the only choice sometimes, depending on the circumstances. But the only reason I would think you should worry about a Zippo is if you overfill the Zippo to the point where the fluid has become so concentrated within that when you tip it this way, it can actually leak out through the wick. And obviously, if you get lighter fluid in your bowl on the, on the tobacco, it will affect the flavor. The solution to that is simple. Don't overfill your Zippo lighter. And if you do overfill it, just light it, let it burn off for a little bit, make sure you're not getting any dripping lighter fluid. Other than that, I don't notice any flavor imported, imparted to the tobacco by using a Zippo. And the odor, when this is burning, is much less strong than the odor of sulfur you get when you use matches to light a pipe. Same thing with butane. I had a video recently, it wasn't about, I don't think it was about the mechanics of pipe smoking or anything, but I was using my Peterson pipe lighter, Peterson pipe lighter, to light a pipe and someone left a comment, no, 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 my boy, don't ever use a butane lighter to light a pipe, you must only use matches. Why? Exactly. What is wrong with a soft flame butane lighter? Again, I don't smell anything. Again, I don't taste anything. It's fine. It's fine to use butane. It's fine to use a Zippo. It's fine to use matches, even though to me, I think out of these three options, this will have the most opportunity of imparting a flavor to your tobacco because you're sucking in all this sulfur. It's fine. Use whatever you want, use whatever works. Don't get so pedantic, don't get so caught up in what you ought to do or what you should do when you're smoking a pipe. All of these methods, soft flame butane, Zippo with a pipe lighter insert, matches, plain old Bic from the supermarket or from the gas station. It works. The only problem you might have with a Bic is since the flame isn't directed out sideways, and if you're trying to light, you could get the flame up and you could singe your fingers or something. You just have to be a little careful of that. They all work. They're not going to overly flavor your tobacco. I think people might have a tendency to watch this video and just think that I don't have a refined enough sense of taste. I don't have a refined palate. Um, I honestly think that there's really nothing to it at all. But if you do think there is something to it, go ahead and use your method. Use matches religiously, only use matches. It's fine, just don't come, don't try to tell new pipe smokers that what they're doing is wrong. You can give them direction, you can point them in the right direction, or in what you consider to be the right direction, but we have a tendency to be far too strident about whatever our, our particular method is. And if you are a new pipe smoker and you're hearing these things, like you can never use a Zippo, you can never use a butane lighter, you can only use matches, you can only use a butane lighter, take it with a grain of salt, try things out for yourself, experience using these different methods and see if you actually can detect any difference. I've smoked a pipe for quite a few years now, I don't really notice anything whatsoever. So there you go. My refutation, I guess, of the myth that you can only use matches to smoke a pipe. I don't agree. 
There you go. Thank you so much for watching this edition of the Stefan Things Guide to Pipe Smoking. I hope you found that helpful. I've been your good friend Bradley, and if you disagree with me, it's fine. You can say so in the comments. Um, I will probably disagree with you though, but that's fine. It's a, it's a discussion, it's a dialogue. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.